Well, let me describe to you how we've used the anatomage table so far. Uh, first of all, we used it to study a three-dimensional anatomy. And uh, uh, for surgeons, residents, fellows, at every level of education, it is a new opportunity to be able to learn anatomy in a different manner that's very, very efficient, and I think uh, perhaps even more efficient than an actual specimens, which has been the traditional way that we've learned in the past. The second way that we've used it is actually to plan operations. For instance, we planned an operation where we were going to take out a lesion in the brainstem, and we were able to simulate a three-dimensional approach to this so that we would arrive at exactly the right spot in the brainstem uh, to enter the lesion. The third way that we've started to use this is actually to analyze what we've done. Uh, we have a new procedure where we, uh, for people with intractable epilepsy where we take a laser fiber and ablate the medial temporal lobe. And what we're using the table for now is to, in three dimensions, analyze what part of the medial temporal lobe we've ablated and compare that to their clinical outcomes so that we can learn what is the critical area that is necessary to ablate to uh, provide somebody with complete relief of their seizures. So it helps right from the beginning to know the anatomy, it helps to plan our surgical procedures, and then it's very helpful to analyze the surgical procedures we've done. It allows us to do this in three dimensions. 